Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I'm putting airbags on my suspension to help with the horse trailer fifth wheel towing. In a previous video, I showed you guys how much the truck squats. Squats about two and a half to three inches. So these airbags are gonna help lift this puppy up and, and not have the right angle with the nose up in the front, uh, blinding everyone with our headlights. So uh, these were a hand-me-down kit. There are no instructions. I am not going to try to do an instructional video. There's going to be a lot of trials and error on our end. I'll just kind of show you the process along the way, some tips and tricks, and I'll show you how they work when we're done. So let me show you the product right now. truck up on ramps already so we can get under there easily and um, I've somewhat set up the driver's side here there's the mounting bracket to the axle a mounting plate the airbag itself and another mounting bracket that mounts to the truck bed so um, a couple other things uh, heat shield and have the heat shield for the passenger side going to protect from the uh, muffler exhaust to, to help hopefully not melt these airbags and then the um, we got the air hose going on here um, and we're going to use some zip ties for those air hoses and maybe try to mount it on the the bumper pull hitch there unless we can find a better spot but stay tuned for that and I'll show you guys uh, what we end up doing with that and uh, the trials and errors of getting this installed so being that this was a hand me down kit some of the parts are all bolted up already and we're going to try to utilize that because it also came off of a dog ram so it should be very strikingly similar to what we have so let's get started all right first up we need to remove the bump stops all right guys the bolt to remove the bump stop is a 5 8 5 8 inch bolt that you need to remove here. Okay guys, we gotta get this bracket mounted up to the uh, truck bed frame. We had to make some custom cuts, cause this was, this bracket's for an older model Ram, so we had to make some cuts on it. I know that's kinda scary, but um, it's not gonna compromise the integrity of the bracket. So uh, let's get it on there. Okay guys, we ran into an issue with using the uh, bumper stop bolts. They're not going to work with how the airbag sits on them, so I had to run to Home Depot and get this um, flat metric type um, bolt that I'm going to have to use, it, use an Allen wrench to uh, tighten it up, so um, this should be pretty fun. Hopefully this works. Or kids not gonna work this Okay, now we have that bracket flush. We don't have a, the bolt head sticking out from those other bolts, which would mess up the mounting of the airbag. So that problem solved, I need to do it to the other side and then uh, we'll put the airbag in. All right, both brackets are on. 
Um, the bolts are now flush, which is awesome. And now I'm going to put the airbag on. Long way into this project at this point. It's uh, definitely had its roadblocks so far. So, um, didn't show you guys too many of those issues, but man, it's been tough. Anyways, these were, this is supposed to be loose, but this was free bolted on when it was on the other truck. It's pretty aligned. I'm gonna double check it by mounting the air bag on right now. It is a pretty good fit actually. And the airbag is straight, which that's what you want. You want it pretty straight. If I, I tried the other hole earlier and it kind of made it crooked. So definitely wanted to make sure that's lined up as straight as possible. That way your airbag doesn't blow off to one side or the other that part of the bracket is supposed to sit between this uh, leaf spring U-bolt right here and next up we need to put this guy on he'll go right there and this this guy will go under right here Okay guys, we decided to do a lot of things off camera because it was really difficult working underneath the truck and um, it's pretty difficult. Uh, I mean it wasn't too bad but it was kind of a difficult project. Um, anyways, we zip tied the, the airline to a hole that was in the bumper hitch right here bolted it in right there it's like the perfect location for him I don't know if those were made for that or what but that's what we used and they're out of the way too so uh, we'll, we'll end up putting caps on there to keep dust out of it but if you follow this line it runs back to the airbag we have 30 psi in the airbag right now Still trying to figure out what the right ride height is. Um, fully loaded, I think it's 100 PSI. But, um, there's the airbag right there. Mounted to the axle. And then here's the other one. This one over, this one over here has a heat shield on it right here. Um, we put it as close to the muffler as possible to uh, protect it from heat. It's also mounted to the axle there. And then here's our custom cut bracket. We cut the top part off of that right there. That way it would fit on this 2018 Ram. And we ran the air hose up and away from the muffler right here to try to protect it from heat. And it comes to the back right here and hooks up hooks up to the bumper hitch right here so yeah that's the airbags installed right there and um, next up I will show you hooking up to a trailer and adding air to it okay guys we ended up putting 50 psi in the airbags and we loaded the trailer up on it and uh, 
made everything level. 50 was about perfect. The airbags go up to 100 PSI, but um, 50 is where it works for our truck. It might be different for your guys', but um, yeah, 50 is where it's at. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this quick little tutorial on our new airbag system for the brand. Um, it's definitely going to help with the horses and with towing and going all the all over these rough roads all over the country. So if this helped you out, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And I will see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep trucking. I'll catch you guys later.